Welcome back to Laying Down the Law here on 1250 ESPN San Antonio and now on 94.5 FM. I am James Pledger sitting in for Steve Foster along with Rod Chico Tanner, the AAU. What's going on, Rod? Hey, man. It is uh, a beautiful day outside. Uh, I know you're going to strap on the, uh, the I'm going to strap on the cleats today. Yeah, go. I, got, I got some as games we, to play. As we say on the soccer <laughs> pitch, we, we strap on the boots. <laughs> yeah. Well, a man who strapped on the cleats and played at a pretty high level, good friend of mine, Joe Pavelic, inside linebacker, went to Baylor, played for Art Bryles, spent some time in the NFL, played with the Seattle Seahawks, actually, and head coach Pete Carroll. We're going to bring him into the fold here. Joe Pavelic, how are you doing, sir? I'm doing great. How are you? I'm good, man. It's uh been a been a little bit, but it's good to hear you again. Yeah, yeah, good to hear from you too, John. We're gonna get some time here. We're gonna start diving into the big game finally, and uh, you've got some special knowledge. Actually, got to spend some time with Pete Carroll in Seattle when he was building this team to what it is. And can you kind of give us an insight on Pete Carroll and the way he is? Because it really seems a lot like Art Bryles. At Baylor, his his youthfulness with the team and the way that he conducts the organization really seems to spread and feed throughout the remainder of the roster. Yeah, yeah, that's a, that's a good point. Yeah, so then I was I was up in Seattle for 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 his first year, so kind of got to see the see the, uh, the 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 foundation of how they started to to build what 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 we see now. Um, you know, kind of being there from a from, from a day to day standpoint, um, you know, there's a, there's a, kind of two two on different sides to it. One is is the side of of all the all the personnel decisions, you know. So the, the year I was there, there was 279 roster moves from off season to 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 the end of the year. So it was crazy people people in and out trying to trying to make make that team look exactly like they like they wanted it to look. Um, but then, kind of all those all those crazy personnel moves, people shuffled in and out were 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 overlooked when when you're out on the field and you know Pete's out there, you know shooting shooting the bull with you and throwing the ball around. You know he's he's a, he's, a, he's a, it's just like a little kid out there having fun. So I I think that 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 mentality that the attitude really um, shows through to 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 his players. Joe Pavelic, former Seattle Seahawk, Baylor Bear linebacker, joining us here. Actually, a Football Writers of America freshman All-American. Joe, you talked about him being out on the field and, and all the roster moves and everything that went on there. Does that feeling of the competition that he creates at every position every day kind of lead to the fact of never feeling your job secure and also, you know, trying to raise the level of his players through competition within its own roster. Yeah, for sure. I, you know, that's actually one of the, one of the core values that, that, that we had out there in Seattle was, was just to compete. You know, they, they, they made such a big deal about, you know, each and every second of practice, every drill, every every play, just just compete, and 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 that's something that they've taken through. You know, I I heard him. He, he had a quote last week about um, just not not making one game bigger b- bigger than the other, and 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 even though a lot of coaches say that, um, I think that they they do such a such a good job of having such intense competition from from day one of OTAs through the Super Bowl that they they can truly just say just just go out there and compete and don't worry about what what the stage is and and that's that's obviously really really paid off for them. Hey Joe, this is a uh, Rod Chico Tanner and uh you know, I I watched the Seahawks play and it, it they remind me of the the tenacity and just the free willingness of a college team you know it, it seems like they're they're pro players playing like college players so you know is is it is there a little bit of that mystique around the 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 organization 
Yeah, yeah. I, I, I think that you, you might be able to say, you know, maybe, maybe more so than, than a college environment, but he's just, he's just so enthusiastic. I mean, I would even take it one step further back to, you know, high school or even one step further back when you're just playing just, just for the passion of playing. There you go. And that's, you know, that's, that, that's one thing that, that really has no choice but to come out and, and all the guys on the field because there's just so much passion, so much, so much love for, for the game of football. And that just, that, that just shows through and, and, and his coaching and then all his coaches and then all the, all of the guys are out there having fun like they did whenever you're, you're out there playing Pop Warner ball. And then you're, you know, all of a sudden you're, you're, I'm just calling it your um, job now. You know, it's a, it, it's a, it, it's just a, just a pretty cool environment. And, that, and you know, that's crazy. Cause uh, I know you went to Smithson Valley and you know, I'm a Judson rocket. So you just gave me chill. Uh-oh. You just gave me chills, dude. You're you talking. Gave- you're talking to a couple former Rangers. You know that, right? Oh, that's right. You went there too. Yeah. <laughs> and, and it was crazy because uh, you're right. When you're playing just for the passion, you know, back in high school, or or you know, I, I'm a big proponent of AAU sports, and I coach a lot of kids, and and you know, they're doing it for the love of it, and that's what Seattle reminds me of. You know, when right. I watch them play, and people you know ask me who you who you pulling for. You know, I'm a diehard Cowboys fan. I know there's a lot of people who don't care for them. One sitting right across from me right now, but that's okay. <laughs> and and you know, I'm pulling for the Seahawks, if nothing but just for that reason. I like the way they play the game. Right, and and that's that's actually one of the things that that um that they they stressed up there. They 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 have a sign that you. You 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 almost tap in right there. There's a sign that says "all in," and it's kind of the, what what they they portray as. Listen, we we understand this. This isn't college ball because some some of the guys have big time contracts and you're making big time money. But then let's let's leave all that here and step on the field and 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 have fun, do our jobs with with so much competition, so much competitive spirit that we just have no choice but to keep getting better. Man, uh, 1250 ESPN San Antonio, now on 94.5 FM. This is Laying Down the Law. I'm James Pledger alongside Rod Chico Tanner. We're joined right now by former Seattle Seahawk linebacker Joe Pavelic. And Joe, what are your th- initial thoughts on this game? Because it is contrasting styles between head coaches in the way that they do things and the way that they get things done. The youthful energeticness of a Pete Carroll versus the kind of corporate way of doing things over in New England, to put it, I guess, politically correct. Uh, What do you see? What are your initial thoughts on this game? You know, I don't know. I I think it's it's going to be interesting. I, you know, as, as, as much as, as, as a player, I feel like playing for the Pete Carroll type of, type of, of, Program seems to, seems to be more up my alley. I mean, how how can you really knock or say anything negative about a a, a, a corporate structure, so to speak, of a, of a of a Bill Belichick that they they just keep winning, right? I mean, I don't I do, I I think that it's a, it's going to be interesting, and and also we we know that that Seattle's been consistent. You know, from from a defensive standpoint, they're always going to be flying around. From an offensive standpoint, they were way off against the against the Packers but they 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 showed some signs of life but I I don't, I don't know I don't I don't know about um, you guys but the um, Patriots just seem to be seem to from from one week to the next seem to be able to bring so much more from the offensive side so they can look like two separate teams but still put up a bunch of points so you know I don't know it'll it, it'll be interesting to see see how um this one plays out Joe Pavelic, thank you so much for your time. One last thing before you go, I haven't got to ask you about it in person, but uh, I know your Baylor Bears kind of kind of took one on the chin in the in the way that the standings ended up eventually ending, leaping T- leapfrogging TCU, then having TCU leapfrog them in the final week of the season. I mean, any thoughts on that first college football championship? I know it's kind of hard to argue with what. Ohio State eventually ended up right. doing. Yeah, yeah, I, I think Ohio State really uh, saved a bunch of uh, saved 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 a bunch of media talk because I mean, even though TCU beat the brakes off of Ole Miss, 
to see a, to see Ohio State come and gosh, they just seem to keep on playing better week after week, didn't they? Yeah, and down to their third string quarterback, a guy who yeah, going into that game had only had one start. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's it's yeah. kind of impressive the way he was able to lift up his team each and every single week. Well, Joe, I really yeah. appreciate the time this morning. We're up against it. Thank you for the time. Thank you for your insight. All right, guys. Appreciate now, it. Thank you. you soon. Yes, sir. Joe Pavelic joining us here, former Seattle Seahawk, former Baylor Bear, former Smith Valley Ranger linebacker. Joining us here on Laying Down the Law on 1250 ESPN San Antonio and now on 94.5 FM, we'll be back with Jeff Blake to talk about his 20-year, 20-year anniversary of being in the Pro Bowl. That's that's impressive. We'll be back right here after this on 1250 ESPN San Antonio and 94.5 FM.